days, Denzel Clark snagged arguably the greatest center field catch in MLB history last night. Let's break down just how bananas these biomechanics are. As we see Clark tracking the ball, he briefly turns his head and visually scans the wall, clocking the distance. This isn't just awareness, it's pre-movement motor planning, where the brain calculates trajectory, timing, and foot placement in real time. He then turns his head back towards the ball, locks in on it, then accelerates with a slight forward lean, knees flexed, and arms relaxed. This crouched posture lowers his center of mass, optimizing control and power. He then plants that left foot into the dirt, using the ground's resistance to load his hips and begin transferring force through the kinetic chain. This moment serves as a force storing setup stride, allowing him to load his body like a spring, prepping to go airborne. This asterisk is where he'll be deliberately planting the right foot, using it as a rigid lever. Bear in mind, this center field wall in Angel Stadium is approximately eight feet tall, and Clark himself is around six foot four. He then uses that planted right foot to propel even higher up converting forward speed into vertical force. For context, he reaches approximately 11.3 feet high to snatch this home run ball. That's around 15 and a half inches higher than a regulation basketball rim. This catch is made by an explosive triple extension through the ankle, knee, and hip, plus elbow extension during the reach, creating a full body kinetic chain that maximizes vertical displacement, peaking at a vertical height of approximately 48 to 51 inches. He then swings out left arm around with the ball secured, coming down with complete control. Every phase, pre-planned, every force, accounted for. Absolutely incredible. Oh!